Mob Entertainment just dropped the final trailer for Poppy Playtime Chapter 3. Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Mason Unique East, and I am super hyped up for Poppy Playtime Chapter 3. We've been waiting a while for this to come out, and we're finally going to get a good look at gameplay before it comes out, hopefully this month. So let's hop into it. Let's find out all about it. I'm going to try to just watch the whole thing, then we're going to go through and break it all down. Now, as always, the first thing we always look at is the thumbnail. What's going on in the thumbnail today? Looks like we have all of the smiling critters and catnap in the big body initiative form absolutely terrifying stuff so i'm super excited to see what happens in this trailer yeah let's get into it mob entertainment okay we're on like a light projector okay interesting there's definitely stuff to look at here i'll i'll go back through and pause everything break it down but Play care. Our very own on site orphanage. But it's not only that. It's a school, a playhouse, a place to belong. Okay. Oh shit, dude. Dude, that like VHS, like body cam stuff. Now look at it. Oh, I didn't like that. Dude. is your answer. This looks insane, dude. Huggy looked crazy there, dude. All that awaits you are incomprehensible horrors. <laughs> Smiling mouths full of teeth and meat and plastic. This world is theirs now. Dude. Welcome home. Dang, dude. There's a lot to talk about here. There's a lot to talk about here. Comes out on the 30th. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'm hyped. I'm hyped, dude. Okay, so let's go and break it all down. Uh, I, I'm trying to get better at whenever I do these reactions to let it play through once. Okay, so we got like basically like a projector, light screen projector. It's like, um, uh, basically it's in school. I don't know if they still do this, but I know growing up in school, they had like the light projecting thing where you'd have like images and like slides that you can go through by hand. Uh, it looks like there's some children here. Their faces are crossed out. They're probably dead. Um project proposal for the bigger bodies initiative in continuation of our work experiment 1188 aims to leverage with our golden path forward it's kind of a bunch of just like sciencey talk uh with not too information too much information uh i'm not like super involved in the poppy playtime lore so if you guys have some information uh as to like who specifically 1188 and 1180 are let me know i don't want to like sit here and be like yep that's huggy because because i don't know but it's interesting it's interesting to see. So it's seeming like maybe they're using the children in the bigger body initiative is what it's seeming like. Um, these monsters could be th some of the kids. I, I I think that was pretty predictable. This environment looks awesome. Clearly, like I, I mentioned this in like one of the previous trailers, but it's clearly like a very uh, artificial environment. And it almost feels like a movie set or something because it's got like the, the artificial clouds that are around. You can see the factory from basically every other chapter on the outside. And then you have like the clouds that are floating through. This whole environment looks insane. I can't wait to explore this. This looks awesome. Yeah. Looks like you might have some like little dinosaur uh, lamps here. It's kind of fallen apart, but it's still like intact. Looking at this here, um, down here, it looks like there's a battery spot. Like it's one of the mechanics that we see later in the chapter. I don't know. It, so far it's looking good. The environments look awesome. Definitely like another place where you could throw in a VHS to get like hidden lore here. I like this. I like that you can see Dog Day there. I like that it's kind of cool to see Dog Day implemented more as like a character and less of like 
one of the smiling smiling critters. <laughs> I do also like these pillows down here. These pillows go crazy. The playhouse looks good. Um, it, it's tough because like the spray painting of like joy for the hour of joy and like the handprints tell you that people have been here for a long time and are aware of like their situation. This looks insane scary though. Yeah, it's like the orphanage area that we saw in a previous chapter. I love these like VHS um, body cam shots. I think more horror games are going to continue to implement this because it's a style that's like fairly easy to pull off if you're dealing with the right filters and you're doing like the, the right things like in engine to create cool camera movements. But it turns out so real and scary. Um, so here's the crashed train from the previous trailers. From the looks of it, I, I don't remember which one this is. I'm pretty sure it's the bear. Looks like a statue of it. Maybe for a puzzle or like maybe you have to sneak around this area like it can't see you for long enough because it's kind of following you. We have like a new hand that shoots like a flare from what I'm seeing. Yeah, yeah. So it's like a flare gun and you can kind of see I, that. I, I think that's catnap. I'm pretty sure that's catnap watching through the door. And whenever you shoot the flare, it um retracts back which is interesting. Oh, uh, we have a map of play care. So home sweet home is the main home. There's a toy store, a school, a uh, playhouse, and then looks like you say counselor's office. Yeah, counselor's office. Interesting. So it's cool that we get a map of this area, kind of give you an idea of like what areas we're probably going to have to go to. So it seems like probably for the majority of this chapter, we're probably going to be restricted less to the factory stuff and more to this area. I imagine it um, kind of like chapter two, where it was like, hey, you need to play these games and then end up back at the train. I'd imagine that we enter through here and then it's like, OK, yeah, go to the playhouse to do this and then the counselor's office or you know so it, it's kind of cool that we'll probably be restricted to this area i could be wrong um from what i know the game's fairly long compared to previous chapters so we could be going more into the factory area um i do like this this is a kind of a cool area <laughs> you know i i don't know why something about like energizing your hand through a hallway like that looks good the jumping mechanic looks great yeah and then more like body cam like horror uh, yeah, it seems like we can, like, I, I don't really get the point of, like, a scoped-in hand here. I'm assuming, because it's still a left hand, I'm assuming this is still our left hand, so I don't really know why we're scoping in. Maybe maybe this is how you shoot far. No, no, no. Okay, wait. This is a separate gun. Oh, I see. Okay, so... I think what's happening there is you can aim this however you need it and then shoot it to and it'll shoot in that direction. And I think from previous trailers, like the arm was looking super long. Maybe this is part of that because I know like in a lot of the puzzles that we saw, especially in the last trailer, the arm was like way too long compared to how far we've been able to stretch it in previous chapters. So maybe we're actually gonna be hitting this and this has like infinite range or like a super far range. Uh, here's the battery that I was talking about. There's a battery spot outside of the main like home sweet home this looks kind of crazy this like padded area this looks pretty neat got the flare uh looks like we have the mask on this could be in like the i'm, I'm seeing like head something there's another one head of something nate carpenter maybe this is the counselor's office and catnap flooded it with the gas that makes sense i guess uh like a toy car that's gonna go and break down a break down a gate or something for us this okay is your answer. and then there's video of the hour of joy so that could actually be like this tape um which would be pretty tight i i hope this is like act actually something in the game and not something they whipped up for the trailer because i've had ideas to do similar stuff for indigo park especially in chapter two so it'd be really cool to see them execute on that catnap looks terrifying in this shot though like ah uh, dude that's so good so good um, kind of looking at this. Yeah, I can't really tell. I can't really tell who that is. That looks like a more like feminine figure, but I don't really know who that is. But there's someone standing there. Yeah, so it looks like maybe this is like right outside of it. So we will get a bit more of like a factory view. We're like in a cave. There were a couple areas like that in, um, in chapter two where like you were running through like a caved area so 
could just be more expansion. Uh, here you're running through like the play pipes and Dog Day looks, this doesn't look like the bigger body Dog Day. This looks like, this looks like a Dog Day, but just like the plush. So maybe there's also like the little plush versions that are gonna be attacking you as well. And you have to just kind of manage them with the flare gun. That's interesting. Um, yeah, more play pipes and stuff. <laughs> yeah, I think we're gonna get a lot of like this kissy missy poppy dynamic. We've seen this in a couple trailers now, these two interacting with each other. So that, that shot's kind of funny because it gives me like superhero vibes. Like, <laughs> feels like a Marvel movie or something. Like, <laughs> it's awesome. And then, yeah, Poppy here looks, or sorry, uh, Huggy here looks absolutely insane. Like, holy shit, what is that? Like, is this the same Huggy that we saw in previous chapters? And this is him like coming back from the dead? I, I don't know. I don't know. I know there's a lot of people really hyped up to see Huggy, so it looks insane. Comprehensible horrors. <laughs> Smiling mouths full of teeth and this, that looked like a similar style to the body cam or whatever type footage we saw earlier. Eh, maybe not. This is more gameplay looking. That, that shot's insane, dude. He looks so good. That's so scary looking. Holy shit. Okay. Welcome home. I like it. I like it a lot. Also, the haunted mansion looking wallpaper in these areas look awesome. Sorry, I'm I'm making Indigo Park. I'm the I'm the theme park guy, so <laughs> I, I know that stuff. But um yeah, yeah, it looks like the 30th is when we're gonna get when we're gonna get it. Um, that's on Tuesday. That's on a Tuesday. But yeah, this is shaping up to be like massive. Um, I don't even notice the bugs. You guys see the bugs on here? That's gross. But yeah, this is shaping up to be massive. I've heard a lot of really good things about the content here. Um, and it's definitely going to help inspire some stuff that we do for um, Indigo Park. I will say there's some stuff in chapter one of Indigo Park that feels similar to some of the stuff we've seen in trailers. Um, but I'm like super excited to play through this and like really, really like dig deep into this because we've been waiting a while for a new Poppy update. So hopefully it ends up being awesome. I'm looking forward to it. Um, we'll do a full playthrough here. We'll do it live on stream, uh, both on YouTube and Twitch. If you guys are interested in that, be sure to check it out. Um, and I actually just put up a video. It'll pop up on screen here where I kind of broke down like the future of indie horror and how uh, Poppy Playtime plays into that because there seems to be a trend going on with a bunch of upcoming indie horror projects. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. Appreciate it. Subscribe because we're almost at 200,000 subs. See you guys soon.